ham, I guess I should say. Burn up. Oh, they kept putting the same oil in it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it out, change the filter, pour it back in the top. That's what it looks like, man. That's crazy. Run it to a coffee filter. All right, so we we're back home. That was the longest drive of my life. Uh, it was it was roughly about um, I would say a round trip about twelve hours. So it was fairly long. Um, but we are home. I uh, did get it back. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to mess with it. I got off the trailer last night and I literally put it in the driveway. So it's gross. So I'm going to wash it and then we're going to throw a tag on it and see if we can make it to the closest, um, closest place with a vacuum. We're going to vacuum it out. Then I'm going to take you guys around it and show you guys the truck. It is pretty sweet though, um, and honestly, uh, he said it needed cam phasers, but I crunk it up, um, and it didn't sound like it needed cam phasers, honestly, it didn't sound bad at all, so, who knows, we're gonna clean it and see what happens, so. You can see, this thing's dirty as hell. Super dirty. What of like minor surface rust I don't know what the heck happened here but first thing we're going to do is obviously wash it because this thing is gross get it cleaned up got some damage here maybe polish these wheels I don't really know clean this joker up but yeah, we're gonna wash it real quick. Let's see what happens. They're always asking me how Clean Freak works on like regular car stuff, like tires and wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna just show you guys kind of how that works. As you can see, it takes all the brake dust and grime off. These wheels obviously have like some surface rust. So I'll probably figure out how to polish those or do something like that. I don't really know, but we'll figure it out. All right, first drive. As you can see, it runs pretty good, you know? Right front door jar, left front door jar, 107,000 miles. Ah, almost died. 3,000 engine hours. That's crazy. Let's see how she runs. Make sure we don't die here. Whoa. She had a little stumble there. Second gear. Third gear. Okay. Everything seems to be working. So far, let's see if the stumble comes back again. Okay, goes a little way.
okay. We're up to about 35. She's running pretty decent. Had that little stumble as soon as you hit the throttle. <clears throat> Maybe a throttle position sensor or something. I don't know. I don't think it's out of time. So, hmm, that's weird. Hmm. Definitely had is a little laggy, but definitely isn't blown up either, so that's good. All right, so runs pretty decent so far. I'm kind of surprised. All right, so what we have here is a 20, or actually 2006 F350. Um, it is a gas truck. It's a 5.4. Um, I just cleaned it up. I'm about to paint like the exhaust and the frame rail and stuff like that. It's got one rust spot there on the door, which is good. Well, not good, but you know, the truck is fairly clean. Um, it's got a few spots, you know, that aren't the best, but you know, for what I gave for it, the truck is really nice. Um, it's got some damage here. That's really the biggest damage on the truck. Um, now, what my plans are for this thing. So, <clears throat> my plans for it kind of go like this. I kind of, I plan to start my business, right? My trucking business. Um, doing some hot shot freight. So, my plan is to buy like a 32 foot trailer. Um, start there and tow light freight thing is sweet but uh yeah so tow light freight um, do stuff like that I bought this truck in particular because it is a short bed um, it is extended cab it does um, only has 107,000 miles 107,000 miles <clears throat> it isn't not really the roughest shape but it's not in the best shape either but you know, for what I gave for it, I really can't complain. Um, my plans are kind of just to fix it up, buy me a trailer, and then go from there. <clears throat> I'm going to do this the, the whole grassroots way. I paid cash for this truck. I'm not getting a loan to do any of this business. Um, I didn't do it with my last business, and I'm not going to do it with this one. So the goal is definitely to buy a trailer next fix this thing as I have time I'm gonna start getting loads off you ship which I've already been kind of doing and go from there you know um, the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of figure out what's up with this check engine light and figure out why it's got that little hesitation and I'm definitely gonna paint all this shit so yeah but first I gotta clean this joker out cuz it's gross <clears throat> This thing is gross. It was on a farm. There's like pellets everywhere. I think those are, I think that's bird food. My dogs will have a field day with birds. Uh, but there's shit everywhere in here. So what I'm gonna do is clean this out. It's bird food everywhere. So I'm gonna clean it out <clears throat> and clean all this up but the thing is pretty dang mint i mean of course it's got spots in places because there's a farm truck it's got this little doodad here i don't really care about that we got iphones nowadays so throw that back there <clears throat> but yeah this thing is really mint i mean for what it is it's pretty mint um so i'm gonna finish cleaning it up and we're gonna send it all right, so good and bad news. Good news is we have an update on the truck. But the bad news is it's not a good update. <laughs> so um, I did put it in the shop. I took it down to um, Rock Hill Automotive. And you will be able to see those pictures here. Now, what ended up happening is 
the right bank on the engine did jump timing and why did it jump timing? So there is a, um, there is a, a guide, right? And the guide has like a pump on it. The pump basically collapsed. So the, the variable timing couldn't put the truck in time. So the timing chain on the right side had slack in it. Now what happened is basically the chain jumped a few teeth. Luckily, none of the valve chain was messed up at all. So the truck would idle literally perfect, but anytime you would go anything over idle, it would drive like crap. So they're working on it now. Um, we should have it done in t the next day or so. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about that. But besides that, they're getting it done. And yeah, so that's kind of an update with it. Um, I know I kind of jumped into the back of this video, but I did want to let you guys know that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the update. Uh, now, the next thing we will do is we will pick it up. Um, I'll film that. And then uh, we will try to get, we might even install the fifth wheel hitch in my driveway. So that might be the next thing we do. I don't know if you guys have any information on installing fifth wheels. Send me some links below, email me with some links, whatever. Um, just let me know. I'll take any information I can because I've never done it. Um, any of my country buddies want to come over and help, come on. We will figure it out. But yeah, that's the update. Hope you guys have a great night. And for all you locals, I'll see you at Easley this weekend for the SOS race. We're gonna send it. Um, I will do an update on my nitro buggy as it is ready and we're ready to go. And you can see the discoloration on them cams. Yeah, dude, during that cam, I guess I should say. Just burn up. Hold like they kept putting the same oil in it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it out, change the filter, pour it back in the top. That's what it looks like, man. That's crazy. Run it through a coffee filter.